you took a long deep breath and gathered courage as it's your first day at job and then enter his side jungkook's office and walk to his table good morning mr jeon he lifts his hair to look at you it's kim ban your new secretary he stood from his chair and walked to you and let out a sarcastic chuckle secretary If it were not for my dad then you don't even deserve to be an employee in my company. I am hired after a proper interview. I have not even met your dad before. He was impressed by my skills so he hired me. Fine, don't explain yourself here. And what is this 19th century dressing style of yours? What's wrong with my dress? Don't you know you are dressing like an old lady? What kind of company is this who judges employees on the basis of their dress instead of skills? Have you got skills? Yes. Good to hear. Then show your skills and talent in your trial period. Let's see if you can stay here or not. Sure. Your first task is to get changed. What? Why would I get changed? Your this winter stress is getting on my nerves. Do you even know how much this stress means to me? I don't care. I'm the boss here. I set the rules and you have to follow them. So now go and get changed. You know what? You are so self-centered and full of yourself. Don't know how you became the boss. Janko gritted his teeth. You arrogant woman. My name is Kim Wan. You said it sternly, yet firmly, and he clenched his fist. Listen, you Kim Wan. Don't ever talk back to me. I hate it. I'm just expressing my opinion. Do not, okay? If you don't want to get fired on the first day of your job, then don't. You flinched a little. That's enough, Jungkook. Stop scaring her now. Namjoon entered inside with hands in his pockets. Namjoon is Jungkook's elder brother and vice president of the company. I'm just telling her how to behave with her boss. Correction, arrogant and self-centered boss. You murmured, but Jungkook heard it and glared you, and you instantly cursed yourself and looked down. You said that you have a good memory, right? Yeah. He walked towards his table and picks a file. Here, memorize all of it by evening. This is all of it. Janko grazed his brows. Yes, that's all for now. Memorize it bit by bit. No, young. Don't get in her way. He again walked towards his table and picks a group of files and come back to you and handed you all those files. Your eyes widened. You wanted more, didn't you? Now memorize that all by evening. and get yourself dressed in a more fashionable way we are going to an event at night you can go now you glared at him for a few seconds then left from there with a stack of files don't tell me that you are going to take her to tonight's party yes i am taking her there i want to see if she can handle it Be a little gentle with her. After all, she is your secretary. Young, she has got the guts to talk back at me, and that annoys me so much. Namjoon chuckled. Dad has finally found someone who can handle you. That arrogant jerk. He is so full of himself. How I am going to handle him? He gave me a lot of files to memorize. How will I memorize it all by evening? God, please save me from this jerk.
You enter inside the office all dressed up for the party. You notice Jungkook busy on his phone, so you clear your throat and Good evening, Mr. John. He shifts his gaze on you as soon as he heard your voice. His heart fluttered as you were looking at him. He couldn't take his eyes off you for some minutes. Then he shrugged off and cursed himself mentally, and then walked to you. He came closer to you. He checked your face, then circled around you. Much better. He went behind you and leaned closer towards your neck and sniffed it. Your heart raced as you felt his hot breath. You instantly back off and. What are you doing, Mr. John? I was smelling you. Yesterday you were smelling like rotten eggs, but today you are smelling like uh, um, delicious. You smell delicious today. You processed his words. Who? Have you memorized everything? He changed the topic. Yes, I have. Let's see if you can pass this task. Let's go now. He walked outside the office, and you followed him. It's been almost an hour since you were at the party. Jungkook is meeting with investors, and introducing you as his secretary. Hello, Mr. Park. I hope you are enjoying the party. Yes, Mr. John. His gaze landed on you. Who is this pretty lady beside you? Oh, this. She is my secretary, Kim Byun. Oh, nice to meet you, Miss Kim Byun. Nice to meet you too, sir. Um, excuse me. I have to attend this call. Yes, yeah, sure. Park walked away from there, and Namjoon came towards you both. Jungkook, look over there, Yunbu. Jungkook and you look where Namjoon pointed. Then he shifts gaze on you. Do you know who he is, Jungkook? How would she know? He is Cha Yunbu, an important client who invested in your applications. Jungkook got impressed, but didn't show it on his face. Well done, Miss Wan. You smile at him. How do you know him? In all those bundles of files, you also gave me a file of today's party's guest list. So, okay, I got it. Young, let's go to meet him. They walked towards Yunwu, and you followed them. Hello, Mr. Cha. Jungkook greeted with a smile. Oh, hello, Mr. John. He handshake with Jungkook and Namjoon. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, I'm waiting to invest in all the applications that you will launch next. I came to meet you to talk about them. But but first, I want to introduce her to you. This is Kim Wan, my new secretary. You smiled and greeted him while going ninety degrees. Hello, Mr. Cha. He nodded with a smile. So next week we will launch a new application which we are proud to present. It's called Keep Up. That sounds interesting. What kind of application is it? Well, it's an app. Wait, Hyung. Namjoon frowned. Jungkook smirked. He crossed his arms and leaned towards you. Why don't you explain it to him? You forced a smile at him, then turned to look at Yunwu. Keep Up is an application to help users with weight loss. Based on your height and weight, it will design an ex- and exercise and diet routine that matches the user's weight loss goal. Jungkook unbelievably. Looked at you, explaining everything confidently. He got impressed, but he shrugged and again focused back on you. He's keenly waiting for you to make mistakes so that he can get a chance to scold you. But to his, 
disappointment you didn't make any mistakes and confidently explained you in each and every detail about the application once you finished the namjoon proudly clapped for you wow it's interesting i would love to invest in the application that would be my honor i'll have my secretary contact you later good i like your secretary she's pretty and smart you all smile mm, excuse me yes yeah, sure you and we walked away from there good job ban you did good today you smile and bowed at him thank you sir jungo rolled his eyes but there is a need for improvement you seem disappointed with my performance Yeah, a bit. Yeah, it's quite visible on your face as you have missed the chance to freak out on me. What do you mean? I don't think I need to tell you that. You are smart enough to understand. Janko glared you. Um, I'll go get something to eat. You smile before walking away. You walked away but Jungkook was still lost. Namjoon pressed his lips to control his smile. Jungkook turned to look at Namjoon. "Young, did you see how she talked back at me? She's full of attitude. I just hate her guts." Namjoon let out a chuckle. Well, she didn't say anything wrong. You purposely told her to explain about the application, which you thought that she must not know about it, and you will get a chance to freak out on her. But see, she changed the game. Quite impressive, right? Hyung, you don't favor her. She is evil. Namjoon chuckled before patting his shoulder. Good morning Mr John Jungkook who was busy in work rolled his eyes on hearing your voice Why are you here early in the morning you frowned What do you mean it's my job and I am supposed to be here Don't you have work for me Yeah wait he take out a file from the drawer Here, complete this in an hour. In an hour? Are you deaf? How can it be completed in just an hour? You can't complete it. Okay, no need to come from tomorrow. No, no, I can complete it. Actually, I will complete it. You better complete it. You nodded. Jerk! You mumbled. Did he say something? He asked while turning the pages of the file. Oh, no, no. Then go and work, and don't forget to give me coffee. Yes, yeah, sure, Mister John. You turned around and cursed him, then went outside the office. Jungkook comes out of his office and walks towards your table. You confusingly looked at him. Get your things. We are going somewhere. Where? Just do what I said. But earlier you told me to complete this file. It's not completed yet. Complete it later. What? Follow me. He said sternly. and you said annoyingly jungkook turned around and starts going such a jerk he is what does he thinks of himself you gathered your things and ran behind him
Can't you shorten your strides just a little bit? You said while panting as soon as you reached him. It's not my fault your legs are short. You looked at him in disbelief. Mr. John, you looked at him with questioning eyes. Listen, Kim Wan, if you want to stay with me, then there are things you need to readjust. Your short legs, for one, need to learn to keep up. Did you get it? You rolled your eyes. Yeah, got it. The lift opening sound distracts you both. Then Jungkook entered inside the lift along with you. Can you at least tell me where we are going in such a hurry? We are going to meet an important client. But what is my work there? Aren't you my secretary? And don't you know that a secretary needs to be with his or her boss 24 by 7? Suddenly the lift stopped and lights turned off. What happened to this lift? You are trapped in this lift here. You always bring troubles. How is that my fault? You should do good deeds by releasing captured animals like fish or birds, so your life won't have many obstacles. You looked at him in disbelief. I'm not the only one who is unlucky here. You're also trapped here together. He rolled his eyes. Jungkook dialed someone's number. Hello, the elevator has stuck. Alright, I'll send technicians to you. You and Jungkook are working together. Suddenly the lights turned off and the cabin became dark. You both frowned and stood up from your places and walked forward. What happened? Why lights went off? Mm, wait, I will call someone. You sat and turned around to search your phone, but as it was dark and you couldn't see, so you bumped with Jungkook's chest. You guessed you were just going to fall, but Jungkook hailed you protectively and saved you from falling. Both yours and his heartbeats increased their paces. He was so lost into seeing you as you were looking at Thrill because of the moonlight falling on your face. He felt some strange and unknown emotions running through his body. He was unable to take his eyes off your face. Unknowingly, he moved his burn hand towards your face to touch and feel it, but your eyes burned. You blinked multiple times and you panicked. Due to which your foot slipped and you fell down on the floor along with Jungkook on top of you. And this time, your eyes widened more because Jungkook slips accidentally pressed on yours. His eyes also widened. Your heartbeat fastened and just then the lights turned on and you instantly pulled Jungkook away and stood up from a place nervously. You backfaced Jungkook and he... looked at you with some unknown emotions then he also stood up the situation got awkward between you two and then you eyes widen when realization hits you it was my first and i lost it to such a rude man you mumble but loud enough for jungkook to hear wait what did you say just now rude man do you think i'm rude Bro, I just saved you from falling and you are accusing me. I agree that you were saving me. But who told you to? Me. You whined. You and I both know that it was just an accidental. But still, why are you making it a big issue? It was not even a, but just a small pack. Do you think I'm making an issue? Bro, you just stole my first. Do you understand the importance of it?
Why? It was not a. It was just an accidental pack. So stop making such a big issue of it, or else I am going to show you how an actual kiss looks like. He said in a warning tone while taking a step towards you, and you nervously took some steps back, on realizing his words. I'll get going now. It's getting late. You stuttered. You were not able to make eye contact with him. So you were looking down at the floor, and Jungkook noticed it. Okay, you go home now. We will finish the remaining work tomorrow. Okay, you agreed, but till then you realize something. But tomorrow is weekend. Jungkook processed your words. Okay, then come to my place tomorrow. We will finish the remaining work there. Your place? Why? Then do you want me to come to your place? No, no. I mean to say, he cut off you. Look, Van. You should know that this work needs to be completed till Monday because we have a meeting about this project on Monday, and we have no choice but to work. So come to my place tomorrow. Okay, then I'll get going now. He nodded. You went towards the table and packed your stuff, then bowed at him and left from there. He kept looking at your back until you disappeared from his sight. Was it really her first? He mumbled while remembering the flashbacks of that scene. Jungkook came out of the shower and stood in front of the mirror to wipe his wet hair. Suddenly, he stopped wiping. And took some more steps towards the mirror, and see his face properly. He unknowingly touched his lips on remembering the accidental that he shared with you. Her lips were so soft. He unknowingly mumbled while looking at himself in the mirror. Then suddenly the realization hits him, and he curses himself mentally. Why am thinking about her? 